let f of x be equal to the negative of x minus 1 quantity squared plus 1 and g of x, which is equal to the negative of f of 2x minus 3, which transformations map f of x to g of x. All right, so we need to start from the inside and work our way out. So we have this 2 occurring in front of our x. This is our b value. And remember, to determine what the scalar is, in a horizontal stretch or shrink, we need to divide one by that B value. So that's gonna be one divided by two or one half. And notice how with G of X, it did, or it is skinnier than F of X. So that does make sense. So it looks as though two is our starting point, that horizontal shrink by a scalar of one half. And if we do that, it will still intersect the origin, but this new maximum will not be at one one, it will be at one half one. And our x-intercept at two will be at one instead. We will still have the x-intercept at the origin so that is what the function would look like after that horizontal shrink. Now we have this negative that's out in front here. That represents a reflection and because it's outside of f of x, it's a reflection across the x-axis, which makes sense. So it keeps the x-intercepts the same but now it's gonna look like this in the middle. And then from here, it went down one, two, three. So this was the reflection. And then this is our K value or that vertical shift going down three. So our answers here are two, three, and six. Two, three, and six, answer choice B.